Hi, my name is Randy Shear, and I'm a technical curriculum developer here at Jitterbit. And I'm glad you could join me as I walk through the setup process for the Workday ServiceNow Employee Onboarding Offboarding Hired to Retire Process Template. First, I want to explain what a process template is. The Cloud Studio process templates are groups of pre-built integration use cases that accelerate the execution of a specific business process using numerous objects across multiple applications or systems. Process templates are designed to reduce the time to deployment by 50 to 80% and can be self-implemented, delivered by Jitterbit Professional Services, or delivered by implementation partner. For access to a template, contact your customer success manager. The Workday ServiceNow Employee Onboarding Offboarding Hired to Retire Process Template supports automatic synchronization between Workday and ServiceNow. When you set a termination date for an employee in Workday, the ITSM system automatically inactivates a user profile and HR records for the employee on the day after the termination date, reducing the time and cost of integrating Workday with ServiceNow. With all of that out of the way, I'm going to quickly show you how to set it up. To install the process template, I will need to log in to the Jitterbit Harmony portal and open Marketplace. Marketplace is Jitterbit's new resource for searching and retrieving recipes and process templates to help you quickly create new projects. I will use the filter on the side to help me remove unwanted templates. Once I find the appropriate template, I will first click on Documents to download the documentation guide for this process template. This documentation guide should be referenced frequently while using this process template. After the documentation guide finishes downloading, I'll click Start Project. I'll be directed to the Create New Project screen. I can select my proper environment because Jitterbit is capable of having multiple environments. Once all these steps are complete, I'll click Create Project. After the project is created, I can either go back to Marketplace or go on to Cloud Studio. I will continue to Cloud Studio where I will find my newly created project. Each project has its own independent set of project variables. To set the values of these variables, I will go to the Project Variable list by clicking the Actions menu icon, which are the three dots at the top of the project pane. I will then select Project Variables from the drop-down menu. Then, set or modify the values as appropriate. When I am done entering all the appropriate values, I will click the X at the top, which will take me back to the project. There is a list of project variables that need to be changed in the supporting documentation guide. I will apply the appropriate variable settings for my connectors, and I'll be ready to test each endpoint connector. With the appropriate variable settings applied, I click the X at the top, which took me back to the project. Prior to running any of the project's operations, I need to open each of the configured connections, both ServiceNow and Workday, and test the connection to confirm that the supplied credentials work with each endpoint. First, I will check ServiceNow to see if the connection is successful. To do this, I'll double click on the ServiceNow connector and scroll down to the bottom where I see the button called Test. When that button is clicked, it will take all the variable settings I used in the last step to see if there is a successful connection to my ServiceNow connector. If it was successful, I will see a green message saying connection success. If it was not successful, I will get an error message. I see that my connector was set up correctly and I will click the X at the top and do the same thing for the Workday connector. Now it's time to start triggering the proper workflows in the proper order. It is important that I install, configure, and test the connectors of all the endpoints listed in the documentation guide. Once this step has been completed, I can deploy and run each project in the proper order as listed in the documentation guide. If you have any questions, please check out the information located at Success Central by going to success.jitterbit.com.